Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. We are going to do the second card in the Textured Floral uh, Bundle series. Uh, the inspiration for this one comes from Catherine Proctor um, from Australia and she posts under whatcathymade.com.au. So Catherine Proctor, What Kathy Made is where I got the inspiration for this card. So I've got a standard North American card base. I've got a five and a quarter by four in basic white that I've run through the timeless uh, type folder, just to give it a little bit of oomph in the background. I've used with a grateful heart from the kit, but I've cut it out with one of the sending smiles dies. If you don't have that die, you can always cut it out with your, um, just with your paper trimmer, or if you're really, um, steady with a pair of scissors. So I've stamped these in pecan pie and berry burst, and this is berry burst as well. These are bubble bath and basic gray in the middle. Then this is soft sea foam. And these leaves, are the die, they're die cut out of soft sea foam and then um, crumb cake. So um, I've pre-done all of this uh, just to keep the video just that little bit shorter. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start building the card. I'm just going to move some things out of the way so that I can stay in frame. This piece I'm dimensionalizing onto the card base. So we're just going to pop some dimensionals. I'm not going to worry too much about dimensionals in the middle because I'm going to be using a lot of dimensionals in the on the card front. Um, so that way when we put it in the mail, it will all kind of squash down into itself and then pop back up when it's done in the mail. So I'm peeling these off. I need to just tuck those over there in the container so they don't end up all over my floor. And, okay, make sure I've got this the right way up. And it does go like this. Again, just keeping that edge really tilted up so it doesn't stick down, making sure I'm even, and then just dropping it down. Now, to get started with this, I just added a little bit of adhesive kind of in four corners. Like that. Um, because these pieces are, these, these aren't... Um, aren't done with adhesive backing. So I'm just going to pop that down like that there. And this one up here like this, just stick that down. And then I'm taking the soft sea foam pieces and I'll just push it down into that piece of sticky. Now I had just a little bit of adhesive paper left that I had already done this, uh, some soft sea foam on. So I just used it up but it's, uh, otherwise it wouldn't be adhesive. And then this is going to sit like this. So that's kind of my wreath base. And then I'm coming in and dimensionalizing the bubble bath flowers. And I'm putting one up here like this. And then one opposite it. Usually I work in threes, but with this one I just worked in twos. And then I'm flat mounting the leaves. So I've got the two sets of leaves here. And one is going to come under here like this. And the other one is going to tuck under here like this, which will effectively cover up the end of that stem. There we go. Uh, these I'm dimensionalizing in, you can see paper has two sides. Uh, it's stamped on the other side and the, I didn't press down properly with the stamp and it went a little gibbly. So this is going to tuck under here and overlap like that. And then this one is going to, whoops not stick to my counter. There we go. Come in here like this. Oh, that doesn't, that didn't stick down very well. I might have to re-adhere that one. So that one's going to go there. Oh, didn't get very much adhesive on that. There we go. That's better. So we're going to tuck that under like that. 
So we've got the basis of the wreath and then I'm coming in with the smaller flowers and need to decide where to put them. I think I might tuck one like that and then put the other one up there just to kind of uh, make that wreath more circular in the middle. I could put it over here as well, but it would it might blend in a little too much. So I think I'm going to put it there. Mm, I'm debating. I'm just going to tuck it there like that so that it's more round like that. And I need, I've dimensionalized with the mini dimensionals, the with a grateful heart. And I'm just going to tuck this along the bottom like that. And that leaf can flip up. So there we go. Um, we can add some bling to this. Let me just get my bling out. What bling do I want to add? Do I have any small? I do have some small uh, pink um, ones of these blooming pearls. So let's get some of those. So we'll just... Oh, these ones are being difficult. So I'm going to pop one in there like that. Um, one there like that. Uh, one over here. And then one down here, um, one in here, and then I'm going to add one more over here, just so this kind of an even number around the edge, and like that. That one's exactly in line, and I want these to be offset from each other a little bit, so maybe I'll just tuck that one up a little bit higher there. So there we have... Um, our card and you know what it needs a little bit more I am going to pop some of the gold ones in too and I'm going to put one there and I've only got three of them left so where can I put this one maybe I'll put this one up here and then this one over here so there okay happy with the card now this is the card without the bling this is the card with the bling um, and it is the second in our series using the textured floral set. And I've used the time-worn type folder with this one. So thank you so much for watching and let's create together again soon.